I think with respect to the Trump administration's policy in Syria, there has been an incredible opportunity sacrificed. They may still pull it out of the bag, um, but the administration came in talking very tough on Iran. Um, based on the perception, legitimate perception, that the nuclear deal had not produced the kind of wholesale transformation of Iran's regional policies and approach to the world that at least some elements of the strategy to sell that deal here in Washington had promised that it might. And so as a result, the administration was reasonably well positioned and began to build up, I think, a, a kind of leverage through the rhetoric, through the determination to take on Iran, to try to extract some concessions from some of our allies, as well as conceivably from countries like Russia with interests in Syria, to take on the Iranians more directly. And when I say take on, I think I'm very being very realistic here. I have no expectation that the Europeans were, had any intention of committing troops or, uh, you know, sort of engaging the Iranians directly in Syria. But what we know from the nuclear diplomacy is that there was a strategy that worked. It was built on a very tightly focused consensus among the P5 plus the Germans, um, all actors that had a, a considerable degree of political and economic influence uh, with respect to the Iranians. Um, had that kind of coalition been sustained and, and driven to attention and, and focus around the Syria question, I think there might have been some potential to put real pressure on what the Iranians are doing in terms of their direct support on the ground, in terms of the way that they're going to dig in and essentially m control major aspects of Syria's domestic politics and its economics in the post-reconstruction phase. Um, and frankly, the debate over the deal became very much at odds with what you were hearing from different parts of the administration about the need to, to, to confront Iran across the region. They could have been brought together in a way that, in fact, created a, at least some kind of a viable strategy. I think the Europeans, and particularly the French, are still talking in a very tough way about the potential for applying economic pressure to Iran as a result of its activities in Syria. Um, but in effect, the kind of fixation on the nuclear deal and what I think now is an almost inevitability that the United States will abrogate its participation in that deal and get absolutely nothing in return from the rest of the world or from the Iranians um, has sacrificed an incredible opportunity.